What is a paper computer? I first heard about the idea of a paper machine from a recording of a lecture delivered at the Neuropa Conference by William S. Burroughs, 1914 to 1997. The lecture was on dreaming and technologies of wishing. In this context, Burroughs described a paper machine as, and I am paraphrasing here because it's been ages since I've heard the source material, any small fetishistic item like an origami folding meant to replicate the semblance of some other actual mechanism like a swan without necessarily also mimicking its functioning. The paper doll doesn't literally need to fly. Burroughs explained how he and Brian Geisen, 1916 to 1986, had performed experiments with constructing small replica models of items they wished to have appear in real form that met with reportedly favorable results. This would have occurred when Burroughs and Geisen were living in Paris in 1959, inventing their cut up method and can clearly be seen as a highly advanced form of the so-called vision board concept where one places pictures of their desired objects onto a board to meditate over until they manifest this secret of the law of attraction that we can manifest materially what we focus on mentally is a popular component of modern new age metaphysics and early 21st century chaos magic beliefs. In Burroughs' lecture, I doubt he mentioned the counterexample of paper planes not manifesting real planes. What I do recall from my takeaway after hearing this lecture was the idea that I could construct an object, ostensibly made of paper, that could someday become a real object, such as a building. Years later, I was working with the Book of Soiga an encoded work once in the possession of John D. And I realized that the leaves or the leaves of code inside it formed a cube of 36 rows by 36 columns of letters by 36 leaves total. This led me to see that D's own work in Lieber Leogeth was similarly like a very large complex acrostic cube. Obviously, I had worked with acrostics before in Abram Alain, the Camia, and of course, D's four Enochian watchtowers imagined as the walls of a cube. However, it had failed to click that I was looking at more than just flat circuit board-like designs, but at actual predecessors to modern cybernetic machines, until I saw the Book of Soiga as a paper computer. Because the Hebrew letters in the cells of the seven Kamiya acrostics may be substituted by gematria with numbers them with number sums, and these number sums may be calculated by adding up the rows, columns, and diagonals into seven magic number sums, one constant per each square. It remains likely a similar transfer from letter to number sums will constitute the method by which to decipher these works further, following, following along the same lines as Jim Reed's used in deciphering Soiga. 